I'm called a special meeting to order the Joshua City Council 101 Joshua, Texas. This is an open meeting subject to the open meeting laws of the state of Texas. Uh, we do are conducting this meeting through Zoom. Uh, if you want, you can go to the city's website and get the Zoom address. Uh, you can send in any message you might want if you'd like to ask the council a question. We do have a forum present. Uh, we do have public forum, but at the present time, we don't have anybody that's wanting to speak on the public forum. So we'll move right over the irregular agenda. I'm going to open up a public hearing at 6 30 for a request for a zoning change on a 5.99 acre tract of land located in the G Castle Land Survey, abstract 173, generally located on the west side of State Highway 174 and East Wagon Wheel, approximately 820 feet north of FM 904, locally known as 1524 South Broadway, from C2 Commercial and I Industrial to PD Plan Development District to allow for a multi purpose event center. The property is located within the Joshua Station overlay. Aaron, would you like to give the staff? Yes. Uh, Mayor and Council, the uh, property at 24 <coughs> South Broadway uh, is uh, totals 5.99 acres. It's a dual zone with the uh, front portion, which is adjacent to Bro uh, Broadway. It's uh, uh, zoned as the commercial C2. The rear portion of the property is zoned as the industrial. Uh, currently, there's a structure on there uh, that was or used to be a church. The uh, main purpose of the planned plan development uh, district is to allow for a multi-purpose event center. Uh, recently, the uh, the uh, property owner has been remodeling and he plans to add uh, two orchid shears, additional parking, and a uh, covered or a courtyard area. Uh, also, he's uh, going to be uh, adding some landscaping, which is uh, sh shown as one of the exhibits, L1 of the ordinance. Well, the uh, applicant is also in the process of planning the property. Uh, the existing, there is an existing drive approach to the property that will remain. Uh, water is provided by JSA, and the uh, they will have an on-site sewage facility. Uh, there's a 30-foot drainage easement that serves as a collection point. For the area, the drainage plan submitted has been approved by the city engineer. Uh, this development is in conformance with the uh, city's comprehensive plan. And on Ju July 20th, the Planning and Zoning Commission unanimously, uh, unanimously approved the plan development and has made a recommendation to the council for approval. And at this time, the city uh, staff would also recommend approval. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Keith Miller is owner. Would you like to say anything? I think you're muted, Keith. Still not hearing this. You muted on our end. Can you, Can you hear me now? Yeah, we got you now. All right. Oh, I just appreciate the opportunity y'all doing a special call meeting to look at this. So maybe we can possibly move on with the project as we. Is there anybody that's wanting to speak in favor of this? Anybody want to speak against? If not, we're going to close the public hearing at 634. Next item will be to discuss, consider, and take action on an ordinance amending the official zoning map of the city of Joshua by changing the zoning on the property located at 1524 South Broadway from Commercial C2 and Industrial I to Plan Development District to allow for a multi-purpose event center. This property is located in the Joshua Station Overlay District. Anybody have any questions or discussion? I got a question, Aaron. You had mentioned um, that they're looking at replanting this the acreage? Yes. Okay. So do you have any idea what they're going to be replatting no. uh, out of it? I mean, they just take it half and half, or there it's actually going to be a minor plant, and it's of the whole entire property. Okay, so this within that plant. Yes. Okay. 
Does anybody else have any questions? Make a motion to approve. Mr. Mayor, uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's my system or if it's coming out of the city, but about 95% of what's being said is cutting out. I'm so, having the same uh, problem, Scott. Okay. Anybody else have that problem besides us? Your, your connection's horrible. You know, we're getting a lot of rebar. It is a little hard to hear. If your own line is to mute your system until such time you want to talk, and that way it'll mute everybody, you won't pick up any other sounds and see if that helps. Rick? What's it? It's cut up and all. Uh, did, you have, did you have any questions? So we got a, a motion by Robert looking for a second. I'll second. They got seconded by Mike Kidd. Is there any further discussion? Motion carried. Motion carried seven zero. All right, Keith, you good to go. Got, just got to get that minor plaque turned in, and then you should be in business. All right, I'm going to open up another public hearing at six thirty seven for a request for a zoning change on two tracks. We, we appreciate it. And I appreciate it. I'm sorry. I appreciate it. And we, we should have the minor plant taken care of today or tomorrow. Very good. Thank you, Keith. Thank you all. Okay. Thank you. Next, we're having the public hearing on the request for zoning change on two tracts of land, approximately seven and a half acres combined, located in the Wagon Wheel Estates, lot 6A and lot 7, abstract 173, located on the west side of State Highway 174, approximately 732 feet west of Wagon Wheel Road and north of County Road 904, locally known as 312 and 316 County Road 904. From agricultural A to industrial I to allow for light fabrication and assembly of processed materials. Aaron. This property is uh, two tracts of land, seven and a half acres. This property was annexed in uh, December of 2016 with the, with the zoning of the agricultural district. The property has a building that was once used as a decorative metal fabrication facility. The new uh, property owner plans to use the building in a similar use of light fabrication and assembly of processed materials. A plot plan was required because they were, or they have proposed a 30,000 gallon propane tank and uh, it meets the international fire code distance of 50 feet from the building. A building permit will also be required for the placement of the propane tank on a concrete slab. The uh, proposed rezoning request complies with the future land use plan as industrial. Uh, the only cost associated with the zoning change request is the publication expense and mailing of public hearing notices to property owners yeah. within 200 feet as required by law. Okay, hold on just a second. We lost our connection. We lost connection. Better see if we can get us restarted. Yes. Okay, we need to hold <coughs> everything to get everybody back on. We must have really bad internet connections right in here. Are you connecting through Wi Fi or through the internet in here to Wi Fi? Wi Fi. Mm -hmm. I don't suppose we got a hard line to get that through here. No, sir. Says it's unstable. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, we're going to do our best to get through this. We didn't discuss anything while we had dropped you guys, so uh, we'll let Aaron continue his speech. 
Go ahead, Aaron. Okay. Uh, uh, I guess I dropped off with the uh, the only cost associated with the change request is the pub publication expense and made the public hearing notices to property owners within 200 feet as required by law. And in this case, there was 15 notices sent out. Uh, back on July 20th, the Planning and Zoning Board Commission or, or Planning and Zoning Commission uh, approved the zoning change and has recommended approval to the uh, council. Uh, and at this time, city staff also recommends approval. Is there anybody representing the other tonight? That would like to speak. All right. Can you make sure that gentleman is online? Yes, Mayor. Very good. Can you everybody hear me? Go right ahead. Well, thank. Want well, to thank you for your time. And yes, we're trying to do our. Oh. I, I apologize. That <clears throat> it's kind of going in and out. But yes, uh -huh. uh, represent nine hundred uh, three sixteen and three twelve nine hundred four. And we're looking to uh, do light fabrication on the facility. Uh, we're looking to provide the more city jobs that we can and kind of help out the community. All right, thank you. Uh, is there anybody that wants to speak for this? Anybody want to speak against? We will adjourn the public hearing at 642. Next, we'll discuss, consider, and take action on an ordinance submitting the official zoning map of the city of Joshua by changing the zoning of the property located at 312 and 316 County Road 904, consisting of approximately seven and a half acres of land, further described as lot 6A and lot 7 in the city of Joshua from agriculture to industrial to allow for light fabrication and assembly of processed materials. Uh, one question I had for you, sir, was what type of light fabrication are you going to be doing? Are you unmuted? Yeah, yeah I, I'm unmuted. It kind of went out. Uh, if the question is, what are we doing? We'll be doing a uh, century light fabrication, bringing in materials, finishing, putting them together, and also uh, processing uh, different aggregates. Right. What sort of light fabrication? I mean, what are what types of things would you be putting together? You know, oh, there. Uh, it's like different cyclones, we would buy the material where it's already cut well or cut processed to the point where it just it's a final fit up and a little bit of weld out. Okay. You. Anybody else have any questions? Any discussion? If not, I'll entertain a motion. Can you can we post the public? Yeah. Okay. Going once, twice. I'll make a motion we approve. A motion by Jerry Moore, second. Second by Mike Kidd. Uh, is there any further discussion? And all those in favor of the motion, raise your hand. Scott, Rick, you guys raising your hands? All right, motion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the gentleman, uh, you're ready for what? Do they have another step they need to do, or is this all that they need? Just a building permit. Now, y'all just need to file for a building permit, and you'll be ready to go. At this point in time, we don't, does anybody have any requests for future agenda items? Now, we'll adjourn the meeting at 6 28. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mayor. All right, thank you.